Hi everyone. Happy Tuesday. It is a windy day in Cleveland. Hi everyone. Oh. Happy See, Tuesday. All right, I tried to go live on my phone. So that's the echoing stuff. That's a mistake, but we all make mistakes, right? So I tried to do a watch party on my phone on my Facebook page and I forgot to close it out. So that's the echoing that you hear in the background. So at the end of the video, when you guys come on, if you hear that echoing, you have to lower your volume or close your other devices. So again, that is just a perfect example of what happens and it's hard to concentrate uh, and there is a slight delay. So anyways, welcome, it's Tuesday, and today we're gonna talk about a very cool artist. His name is Roy Lichtenstein, and he's an American artist. He was born in New York City. Very cool, and uh, interestingly enough, he created a movement called Pop Art, so he was a pop artist, and I say interesting because similar to Monet and Van Gogh, it was a new style and form of artwork, and guess what? People didn't like it. Shocking, I know, if you've been following me all along. It's interesting that when people try something new, it's not well-liked at first. So I'm going to start out today. I'm going to want, I want to teach you guys something called one-point perspective. So if you're interested in doing a tile floor like this, now on uh, Lichtenstein's is just white, but you can, if you like that look, you can create, it's one point perspective, it's pretty easy, so I'm going to teach you how, if you have a ruler handy, that would be even better, guess what, so I've been cleaning and unburying myself and I found a ruler, I'm going to use a marker so you can see it from far away, you can use pencil, and again, I would consider this your sloppy copy, that's your practice, so I would put a dot, so this is one point perspective. I'm just gonna do a dot in the middle of my page, okay? And then you can do a horizontal line. A right, whoops, right through the dot. Okay, ignore that. There's a mistake, okay, I make mistakes all the time. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing some lines that are gonna be diagonal from that point. So. There, I'm going to use my ruler. There's a diagonal line. Start from the point. Diagonal. Start from the point. Start from the point. And I'm trying to space them out evenly. You can put them closer together. You can put them farther apart. Okay, doing a ruler on this is not the easiest thing. Gravity wants to pull it down. Okay, you get the idea. So there's some lines and they're all coming from that one point, okay? So that's one point perspective. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some horizontal lines. I'll start at the bottom. I'll make it the width of the ruler just to keep it easy. Okay, so you get the idea. And then you would do it like a checker, like this one could be black, white, black, white, black, white, you know, like a checkerboard. And then this line over here, you could just erase. So that's what I did. So you were, I just ended it right there and then I erased the top line. So you can erase, hopefully you're using a pencil. So that's one point perspective and I'll teach you more about that another time. I just wanted to give you an idea of the way you could do a table. When we did Vincent Van Gogh, a lot of you guys did the checker tablecloth, but we didn't do it in perspective. We didn't make it look like it was going back in the distance. That's just one little example. And I want to show you one other thing. Joe's helping us today behind the scenes. Joe, can you pull up the picture of the Zentangles? Not that. Zentangles are black and white and they're designs. <laughs> they look like line designs. Hopefully I sent them to them. Maybe I didn't. I think I sent it to you yesterday. Anyway, Zentangles are really cool line designs. Joe will pull it up when he finds it. I think I sent it to you today or yesterday. Black and white images that are just designs, kind of like doodles, but they make patterns. And you put a lot of them together to create a cool design. 
They're really relaxing. It's great to do just to take your mind off of stuff. Uh, and so I'm going to start with a rectangle. Joe, if you can't find it in your text, you can uh, Google images, Zentangles. Just so you guys can see Zent, obviously that's not a perfect rectangle. But I want to give you an idea. Let's say I'll, I'll create a... Yours don't have to look like mine. I'm going to create a shape right here. So I'm using black marker so you can see it from far away. If you're using pencil, that's great. If I was doing this alone, I would use pencil. Joe, any luck with Zentangles? Joe's probably taking a break and eating lunch. So, but if you, oh, there you go. There's an example. So look at the background on that one. They did Zentangles in the background around the fruit bowl, a design and a pattern on the bowl. Uh, there are some black and white ones, Joe. Just some plain black and white ones of just designs. Let's see if I can find one. Well, that's, so that's the still life. It's just patterns and designs not the still life picture. It just looks like black and white patterns and designs. And I'm gonna create some for you guys so you get the idea. Really, they're just little doodles of designs. And I would be coloring mine in more black and white, but we would be here all day. Can you repeat your designs? Of course. And the reason why I want to show you Zentangles is you can incorporate it into your artwork today. So they're little line designs, little circles, little squares, swirls. I'm gonna send Joe a Zentangle real quick. I don't know if it'll show up great. There, there's an example of a Zentangle. I just sent it to Joe, so hopefully Joe can put it up on the screen. Just so you get an idea. So I don't color all this in. Because I want you guys to take your time. I go quick, otherwise we'd be here until midnight. You don't want to stay until midnight? They just announced yesterday in Ohio, Governor DeWine, 
that the schools in Ohio will be closed for the rest of the school year. Uh, so a lot of, you know, kids and parents are dealing with that, trying to adapt and adjust, plan for the end of the school year for all the graduates, the kids that miss prom, all the sporting events. And they say it's too early to predict what's going to happen in the fall. No one knows. And again, we just, we're just going with the flow, okay? We're going to plan as best as possible and go with the flow. You know, you could be sad about it, miss your friends, miss your family. And a great way to deal with that is to write it down, create some art, draw a picture, express your emotions, talk to somebody, journal. Teachers are sad too. You know, they miss their students. So there's an example of some Zen tangles. Joe, I texted you some Zen tangle samples. Ah, there you go. So there's one. So I, per, yes, excellent. Those are just some awesome examples. And you guys can also Google images, Zen tangles, because it'll take me all day to color these in like black and white, but you don't have to use black and white. It does look cool in black and white because of the contrast, but you can use any colors that you want to. And again, color it in. It, it's just really relaxing to just kind of sit there and do. So that those are Zen tangles. Now, Joe already flashed up on the screen Roy uh, Lichtenstein's still life. So a still life, you guys, is when you, there's Roy Lichtenstein from New York City. Uh, a still life is when you create something in front of you that doesn't move. That's why it's still life. So in college and in high school, we used to create still lifes with whatever we had around us. And we would set it up and it would stay like that way for month, at least a month. And we would draw it and keep drawing it and we would paint it and sketch it. And then you would switch your position and change it from a different angle and the lighting would change. But you would really study that object in all the different colors and the way the light hits it and the reflection and the different angles and how it looks in different ways. So you would never think an apple was so interesting because we're just like, <laughs> and really not thinking about how it grew, how long it took to grow on a tree. Uh, and where, where did this apple come from? You know, how long did it take to get here? So all those things before I just, put some peanut butter on it and eat it. And again, it doesn't have to be the whole apple. It could be an apple that's sliced open. Obviously I sliced this open and it's browning already, but of course the inside of an apple is pretty cool. You can even take a bite out of it and draw it with a bite out of it. So that's what a still life is. And um, Joe, you wanna show them there's a more realistic painting of a still life that Monet did. And it's got like a melon in it. It's a painting. Yeah, that's it. That, so that was done by Claude Monet. Remember we talked about Claude Monet and Impressionism? Well, he also did still lifes. And then the, Van Gogh did a still life. So Van Gogh did um, the fruit one, Joe. The, so if you guys look, look at all the lines and colors that Van Gogh. So you can see his style in that bowl, basket of oranges. So that is a still life. Thanks, Joe. So again, there's different styles. Now along comes Roy Lichtenstein. He creates his own form, pop art. Andy Warhol was another famous artist from New York City who also was part of that pop art movement. So I'm gonna create my drawing on the canvas. You guys use whatever it is that you have. I'm gonna use black marker as I'm drawing it. I'm gonna, so it's called, this one is called uh, Fruit Bowl, wait, wait, what's it called? Hold on, I wrote it down somewhere. Still Life with Crystal Bowl. That's what it's called. Still Life with Crystal Bowl by Roy Lichtenstein. So I'm going to start mm, a little below the middle of my page with a smile. Smile. And then I'm going to go vertical, down and out. Vertical, down and out. And then I'm going to connect them with another big smile. 
This is my crystal bowl. Yours does not have to be crystal. It could be cool patterns, designs. Smile, 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 smile. Now, Lichtenstein made his crystal bowl pretty fancy. And if you look at his up close, and again, Google Roy Lichtenstein, Google uh, his still life in crystal bowl, and you'll see all the lines and designs that he used in black and white for his crystal bowl. You do not have to do yours black and white. <laughs> And I want you guys to use any fruit that you love, okay, or don't love. I chose fruit that was really bright. I think strawberries would be really cool in there. All those little seeds. Oranges, grapefruit, banana. B-A-N-A-N-A, -A -A, banana. We'll play a song in a little bit. You know I like Alexa. Got to think of a good, a good Tuesday song. So, again, just create. Your lines, you can do zendangles in here. You could just do line designs. Do some diagonal lines in here. Add some lines in my crystal bowl. Then I could do a horizontal line here. If you have a ruler, you can use your ruler. I'm going to jump over the vase and put a horizontal line here. Now, this is where the fun begins. You guys can fill up that whole table. You could do it with the one-point perspective, which I did here, or you can fill it up with zentangles and cool designs. And you can do that on your own. I'll leave mine white like the uh, Lichtenstein painting and then you guys are going to fill up your fruit bowl with whatever fruit you like. I'm going to do like a big orange right here. Some, I love grapes but I like the grapes with no seeds. Ugh, I don't like those seeds in there. Seedless grapes. We're going to, of course, put a banana in here. So there'll be a banana. I'm going to put more grapes over here. We'll do a couple different colors. We'll do green grapes and purple grapes. You guys do whatever kind of grapes you like or no grapes at all. I don't know if I've ever met anybody who really didn't like grapes. And you could just put back here, you know, a cool line design. Fill up your bowl with whatever you want. Let's put, again, it could be a strawberry, apple. Lemon. Oh, I know you love lemon. I used to torture the kids with uh, different, I would cut open a lemon and give it to them in a restaurant and have them chew on it when they were little. They would, and then they would make that face. That was pretty funny. So again, there's your outline. You could do, I think, the rest of the fruit bowl over here if you want to add, again, some cool designs. Zentangles, fill it with more fruit. Totally up to you guys. Because it's your still life, your fruit roll. But it is fun. It is fun to do all those different designs. 
So this is a still life. And again, you can spend all day long drawing it, coloring it, whatever you want. So I like to paint. I'm going to start with, I'll do my yellow banana first because it's the lightest one. So I'm going to do yeah, bananas, grapes, oranges. Oh, I got a math question for you guys. So Roy Lichtenstein painted this. In 1973, how many years ago was that? Joe, there's a banner for that. I think Joe's not paying attention. <gasps> Thank you. How many years ago was that? Let's see if you get the answer. Joe, I'll give you a shout out if you get it right. The first one to get that right, Joe, you can make put their name up there. So Roy grew up in New York City, loved music. He especially loved jazz music. And he would go listen to jazz music and draw the artists as they were playing their musical instruments. So he really did love art. And he really loved art, especially in high school. He, so he, again, he lived in New York City and his parents had money, so they weren't poor. And then Roy Lichtenstein went to college at Ohio State University, which is very cool. I, I just learned that. And 47, John, yay, good job. 47 years ago, this was created. So... Lichtenstein loved art, so he decided to go to Ohio State University to study painting. And while he was there, he got drafted into World War II, which means he had to become part of the military. And they trained him to be a pilot. And uh, so he was in the military during World War II. And uh, actually, they let him start to become a draftsman and an artist while he was there. And... Once he got out, he went back to Ohio State University, got his degree. Eventually, he got his master's in art, and he became a professor at Ohio State University, moved to Cleveland, Ohio, had two sons. One of his sons is a musician currently. And Joe, can you put up that one picture again with the uh, airplane, the fighter comic strip? Yep. So look at that. So he was influenced by comics. Thank you, Joe. And being in the military and having them, they trained him to be a pilot. He loved drawing those things. And again, while he was in the military, he was drawing a lot. So Back then, comic strips were huge and in the newspaper all the time, and he was influenced by them. So that's why people didn't like his artwork. They said, oh, you're just copying people's artwork. You're just copying the comic strips. Didn't stop him. He just kept doing it and doing it because he really enjoyed it, and it was, you know, different, something new, thinking outside the box. And again, he, and I'll talk more about pop art, but he started that pop art movement with a few other, Jasper Johns, Andy Warhol. So I'm making it look pretty flat because I'm not adding any value. If you want to add value, you would add lights and darks to it. You know, again, if I'm painting more realistic, look at all the colors in that apple. Look at the highlights, right? It has form, that means it's not flat. But I'm painting mine more like a cartoon or it's flat. You do what you want to do. Because it's your art. Okay, let's do some red apples. 
And again, we could add highlights to it later. You could do, you could spend all day long doing those untangles. I promise you it's fun. You could practice first or you could do it right on your canvas. And those of you guys that sent me your pictures, thank you so much. I love those paintings and drawings, crayon. I love that you're using any supplies that you guys have. You're creating your own little art gallery in your house. It's so awesome. Again, you could put a bite mark in it if you want to do one with a bite mark in it. So I'm going to re-outline it in black later so you can see the separation of the two apples. What else I could have done? I could have made a yellow apple, but then my yellow apple would have blended into my bananas. So I'm just going to do it red. And you guys, tomorrow is Earth Day. And what I want you to start thinking about is, what can you do for Earth Day? What can you do on top of doing artwork with me? What can you do to help take care of the Earth tomorrow? I want you to start thinking about that. I don't want to give you an answer. But maybe when you come on the screen later, you can tell me. Well, what I'm going to do for Earth Day is, so that's just something to think about while we're painting. Always good to think and paint. I'm going to do some green grapes here. And then, okay, so tomorrow's Wednesday and we're gonna celebrate Earth Day. And we're gonna try to remember what we're celebrating and doing for tomorrow every single day, what we can do to help save the Earth. We're doing it actually now as we're staying home and the Earth is healing itself and nature's, you know, just kind of rejuvenating itself and people are driving less and there's less air pollution. And I'll do this set of grapes purple. Now it's hard to see the circle, so I will go back into it later. Again, you could put a little white highlight in there. And on Thursday, you guys, guess what? The Cleveland Aquarium is going to come on as a guest. And they're going to take us into their special exhibit that's going on right now. So people are there taking care of the fish. So the people are going to come on live from the aquarium and they're going to go into their special exhibit which is of rainbow fish and they're it's not the book rainbow fish although I, one of my favorite books this is live rainbow fish so they're going to talk about the special exhibit that they have there and then we're going to paint rainbow fish so that's on thursday definitely if you guys have friends and family that you haven't told yet tell them to join us And then I'll definitely make it a point to get down there once everything reopens. All right, so there's my purple grapes. Hmm. Now, could you put little dots on your, you could put little white indent dots on your orange. You could put highlight on your green. I could do that right now. So I could put little highlights on my grapes. Does it have to be on all of them? No. And you'll see my grapes better once I outline them.
You can put a little highlight on your apple. And again, I could put, so I, I would just dip the handle on my paintbrush in my white paint. It's harder to do with if you're using um, watercolor, but you could put little white dots on your orange. You could put black dots. Give it a little texture. So I could wait for this to dry and outline it all with marker, but I want to do it while you guys are on here. So I'm going to put a black outline there just so you can see my apple better. Can I make the stems on my apple green? Sure. You guys can do whatever you want to. Could you make it look more dimensional and realistic? Of course. You could do it in Van Gogh style. You could do it in Monet style. You could do it in your style. How's it coming? Did you guys think of any good Tuesday songs? How about a Tuesday song? How about a fruit song? Can you guys think of a good fruit song? You could play some jazz since Roy liked jazz. How's your fruit coming? Is it making you hungry? It is lunchtime, you know. I guess it just depends on if you're watching this live. You guys were live on Facebook and YouTube Monday through Saturday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, but it's also recorded, so you can go back and watch it on Facebook and YouTube. And I'm doing private parties. So I got a, you know, uh, someone messaged me about a private party. I just started doing them. I've done a couple now. I'm pretty open since all my jobs have been canceled or postponed. So a private party is $75. It's just like this, except it's your group of friends and family. You use whatever supplies you have. If you want to get special supplies, I'll send you a supply list. And the way to get a hold of me, you can message me through Facebook. You can email me on my website, artistatheart.org. Everything on my website, artistatheart.org, has every Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. And you guys, you can check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party. You can email me again. Uh, if you go to my website, artistatheart.org, you can email me your pictures, and if you go to the website and look, go to the canvas paintings tab and you'll see a lot of the photos that I uploaded since we've been doing this. It'll have all of my canvas paintings that uh, we've done plus we're going to do as well as pictures that you guys have been sending me. So if you haven't had a chance to go to the website, definitely go check it out.
You know, I could have put cherries in there. I could have put blueberries in there. Maybe you put some blueberries on the table. Maybe some cherries and blueberries down here. And strawberries. And if you want to do the lines, just use a ruler just so they're not too sloppy. It'll come out a little bit nicer if you want to do lines in the background or zen tangles. If you don't have a ruler, you could freehand it or you can use something that's a little bit. So what I was using, this is like tag board. You can use that as a straight edge to get a good straight line. So you get the idea, right? And I'm not gonna sit here and fill in the background with Zen tangles. I'm gonna take my time and do it once we're done. You guys, if you wanna come on the screen today, again, don't mute yourself, but do turn down your volume. And if you have, just like when I started today, if you have an extra gadget, like a phone or something near you, Make sure you close the wind, the extra gadget. Like all I did was close my phone so you guys didn't hear that echoing. It makes it easier for us to hear you. So quiet. I want to sing a song. What can I sing about? Let's see. Hmm. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> like this. That's you too. One of my favorite bands. It's a beautiful day. It doesn't really sound like that. <laughs> it sounds way better than that. And again, that's just like part of the bowl and the rest of it's part of the bowl. Just different designs. You can paint it however you want to, you guys. You can do it all in black and white. You can add some color to it. You put, you know, more fruit down here.
And if you guys have been watching this all along, do you remember when we folded the paper in half to create balance and symmetry? Let's just say you're having trouble with your vase and you're not getting balance. Oh, I don't know if I have my scissors up here. You could do the same thing. Oh yeah, there they are. All right, I'll show you real quick. Hold on. If you guys want to, if you're watching the one day we did balance and symmetry, and we folded a piece of paper in half, you guys, to get the vase the same on both sides, let's just say this, you're still practicing or you want to try it again. You could fold a piece of paper in half. Okay, there's the crease, there's the opening. And then you can draw out any kind of vase you want. And cut it out. That way it's gonna be the same on both sides. So it's symmetrical. So again, if you wanted to do something like that to make it the same on both sides, you could just, this would be your stencil, this would be your tracer. You just fold the piece of paper in half, make it as fancy as you want it to be. It could be narrower. Okay, however you want it to be. You guys think outside the box, do your own thing, fill up your fruit, make it colorful, make it fun, eat some fruit today. All right, Joe, you can give them the link. And you guys, when you see the StreamYard link, click on the link, it brings you into the green room. The green room is the waiting room. It only allows a certain number of people in there at one time. So I know everyone all clicks on it at the same time. So just be patient, wait a couple minutes. You'll get a chance to come out if you wanna show your artwork from today, from another day. If you wanna talk to us about what you're gonna do special for Earth Day. Uh, let's see what else we could talk about. How excited you are that the aquarium's gonna come on on Thursday to do Rainbow Fish. So again, tomorrow is Earth Day, and you can do your own thing. You can also Google ideas for Earth Day. Here's one example of an Earth Day artwork. Hi, Emery. Hi. Hi. Here's mine. Oh, that looks great. Thank you. Thanks for doing it. That was cool. Hi. This is mine. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Sure. Thanks for watching. Hi. I'm from St. Benedict, PA. And so far. Oh, that looks great. Thank you. Hi. I like the beret. Thank you. So coincidentally, today I had a Google Meet with my class and this thursday is william shakespeare's birthday and we're and we're coincidentally studying william shakespeare so i dressed up as a british painter in that time and yeah i'm from elmhurst illinois and also when you were talking about roy lichtenstein and andy warhol I immediately went up to my room and got a pillowcase that I made on my class of self-portrait of me. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I really liked it. And so I thought that I would just show you. I also really liked this, the, what's it called again? Pop art or Zentangle, Zentangle. Zentangle. Yeah, I love that. So I'm just cutting this out and then I'm going to glue it on to a Zentangle background. Love it. Yeah. And, yeah, because I spent so much time on it and I just don't, uh, you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. Here's mine. Let me get it. Wow. I like pink and I got a new thing and I'm just painting a background of all my colors of my paints. 
That looks great. I'm going to hang it up so I know which paints I have. Got it. Good idea. And Good idea. I really like this class. And here's my sissy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Once she said bye before. And I live doing? in New York. And my I New York you. State. And my name is Eileen. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you, Eileen. Hey, Jenny. Hi, how are you, Jenny? Good, how are you? Good. This is my dinner star work. You're great. Thank you, Dennis. You're welcome. Thanks for doing it, Danny. See you tomorrow, Danny. See you tomorrow. Hi, Good job on the one point perspective. And then one day I want to do like a barn. Maybe. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. One day I like to do Hi. Hi. This is my painting. This one's mine. This one's mine. I can't remember what these things are. Zantangles. Zantangles? Zantangles, yeah. This is Addis. I'm Ezri. That's Gwenna. This is Gwenna. And this is Addie. We're from White Bluff, Tennessee. Hi. Hi. Um, so this is mine, and I'm going to – I did something a little different. Oh, nice. I'm going to give this to my aunt. She lives in um, Kansas, and I made this one for my house. Oh, that's great. I love it. Thanks, Kimmy. And for Earth Day – um, every year my family like goes like around our street and like picks up like trash and stuff like that. Oh, that's a great thing to do. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Hi, Rosie. My favorite painting is this one. And this is my painting so far. Oh, that looks great. Bye. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, this is mine so far. And um, for the strawberries, I tried to put a little bit of seeds. And you can't really see them. I love strawberries. Um, and um, I love doing this every day with you. And thank you so much for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for doing it with me. Bye. Strawberries. Hi. And I love doing this every day with you. Oh, Whose birthday? My father's. Oh, that's why you can have a birthday. Give a card. Hi. That was great. This is mine. I put balloons up because it's almost my birthday. Oh, happy almost birthday. <laughs> Oh, and I also made this. <laughs> oh, nice. That's pretty. This is mine. Very colorful. This is mine. And this is my yellow one. Wow. I also made this cake. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. I love you. Well, thank you. And you know what? Your shirt looks like Zentangles. Your shirt, your dress looks like Zentangle design. It's very cool. Thank, um, thank you for doing this. You're welcome. And I'm the man. Awesome, you guys. Thank you so much. Hi, Mia. Mia Rose? Or is it Maya? Hi. Hi, um, this is my art so far. So we didn't have um, like a fruit bowl. So instead I used a like utensil holder and I'm not exactly I done yet. Good idea. 
Thank you. Thank you. When it's done, send me a picture, okay? Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Sage, Cora, and Nastasia. Did I say the names Natasha. right? Natasha. Sorry, Natasha. Zentangle. Ooh, cool. I made a W. I made two Zentangles. That one and this one. I made it have a one, two, three, and eight. Wow. That's very cool. And then I also made the fruit cup. It's supposed to be like a smile, like a face. This is the smile and there are three eyeballs, like a monster. I love it. And then I, I use this one. The help the other baby. Oh, nice. This one's going up, this one's going down. Oh. Fun. And there are little landing pads. Like there are landing pads in the grass. That looks great. Hmm, landing jets. Never thought of that. Picture oh my gosh. Right here. So oh my gosh. the fruit cup is right here. I have a banana, green grapes, and purple grapes, and two blueberries. And my background is a zentangle. I love it. And I love your one point perspective. Thank you. Thanks for doing it. I'm I'm still in the middle of making my apple. Oh, that looks like a good apple. <laughs> And she also made this. She made a other boy. Very cool. Very nice, you guys. You joined great. I know Thank what we're you. we do this every day on Earth Day. Every year on Earth Day, we um we go around and pick up trash. That's a great idea. I love and, it. And the day before yesterday I lost a tooth. Oh boy. How's that feel? Weird. I think it's hard to eat an apple like that, right? Well, I can still eat apples. I have like an apple every day. Good for you. An apple, you know what they say, an apple a day. You know what they say about an apple a day? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. You never heard that? Well, it does not keep the doctor away because <laughs> I have like eczema to apples sometimes. Really? So it does not keep the doctor away. Mm, I never heard of apples and doctors like that. I think apples are supposed to boost your immune system. But good to know. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> I am no doctor. Okay. I am not going to be a doctor. Okay. It was a little apple thing. Hi, girl Hi. and boy. Hi. Layla, Carolina, and Tom. So this is my... Ooh, that looks awesome. Thank you. This is mine. Very nice. Wow, you guys are doing great. This is mine. Awesome. Those look fantastic. Who's Layla? Me. Did you have a candle on yours? Uh-huh. That is so it looks like a magic candle, like in a little genie cup plate, right? It kind of yeah. that's so cool. You guys did awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And for <laughs> And for Earth Day, I think we might like um, like we might like pick up our trash like on the sidewalk if there's any trash and do stuff like that. Good idea. Yeah. Thank you. Hi girls, Emma and Bella from Florida. Yes. Um, this is mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and this is mine. Ooh, they look awesome. And this Thank came you. from our mango tree. Wow. Tiny little mango. Is it right? We uh, think so. You think so? Mm -hmm. Oh, I want a mango tree. I want a palm tree and a mango tree. We picked a really big one yesterday. Wow. That's what I drew over here. And for Earth Day, um, we always get a bunch of friends and go to the beach and clean up like huge bags of trash. And like, Good idea. Like, last year, we hung up a little bird tree on a pole. A bird tree? I mean, a bird house. house. <laughs> That's huge. That's very right. nice. Thanks, girls. So uh, let's see. Oh, Emery's going to come on. Hi, Emery. Hi. I have an idea for um, Earth Day. Okay. 
and that you can go that's around your idea. neighborhood and pick up trash. Okay, that's a great idea. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, what I do want to say about tomorrow's Earth Day. What we don't know about this virus right now, hang on, Joe, for one minute. Oh, yeah, hang on one second. What we don't know about the virus is if it lives on things such as plastic, such as cardboard. We don't know that yet. And they're still trying to figure it out. You know, it's very contagious. What I really would hate to see you guys do is go around your neighborhood and pick up trash when we just don't know what's on it. So I think all of those ideas are fantastic. What I was going to suggest is just starting right now up until tomorrow, try not to create garbage. Now, how could you cr not create garbage? Think of that. And I can give you an idea. Single use plastic containers. That means you only use it once, once, such as a bottle of water. You drink a bottle of water, you recycle the plastic bottle. You drink a bottle of juice and you recycle the plastic. What I want you to do for Earth Day is to not consume products that create garbage. Rather than picking up garbage and recycling, try not to consume things that create garbage. So maybe while you're home, you're drinking more out of glasses instead of all these plastic bottles. Because not, I, I understand it's recyclable, but what I want you to think about is the energy that it takes to recycle. So then you have a special garbage truck that recycles stuff. Then you have a plant that's recycling it. Then you, so all that energy and power that it takes to recycle something is still a lot that's not good for the earth. Plus what ends up in the water, in the oceans, in the Great Lakes. So it's better to not use those products. A lot of places that I've traveled to, they have banned single-use products. That's why the grocery stores just began to stop using those disposable plastic bags because they end up in all kinds of bad places that's not good for nature. Now, right now, some of the stores started to go back to it because, again, of the germs and the virus and the things passing. So I just really want you guys to try to tr do something new and different other than picking up trash, how about trying not to create trash? Just for one day, tomorrow maybe, or starting now, see if there's things that you can do to not create trash such as plastic. Again, wasting plastic, that's what I think of the most is like plastic things that you eat out of, that you drink out of, that creates trash. And again, even if you carry around your trash with you tomorrow, like in your house, and you just see how much you consume, you would probably be surprised. So that's my request to you guys is try to not create so much trash. And I don't mean the core of an apple. I don't mean the skin of a banana because all those things are biodegradable and they're natural. All right, you, Joe, you can bring people back up. Thank you. Hi, Hi. this is my finished one. Nice. And I was wondering for Earth Day that we could do a picture with the Earth, like wearing sunglasses and doing a thumbs up. Yeah, you could do that too. I'll I'll show you mine, and you guys come up with your own ideas, just like you always do. Okay, that's a great idea. Yeah, and like a poop looking at it. <laughs> okay, you can do that. I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank Bye. you. Bye, guys. Hi, Sammy. Oh, wow. um, so this is mine. I decided to make it a planter. Um, and you know those little trees? Um, um, so I put one of those in there. I love oh, it. Cherry blossom. Yeah, that's so cute. It's cherry blossom time. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. Hi, guys. Uh, I have an awesome idea. Time. That's awesome. Lots of times yeah. we, you. lots of times I draw okay. pictures, oh like oh signs, I have an idea. Um, awesome. encouraging people yeah. to use less Thank trash. You. Lots of times I draw I, pictures, I like signs. What I think I we should do oh um, is, is make trash. sure if people lots go away, we take draw a crack out and pick it back up. Good idea. Thank you. Yeah. That's pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Brianna. Hi. This is mine. I painted the background pink. I like it.
Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for doing it with me. So now you guys have 100 ideas for today. That'll keep you busy, at least for today. Come up with your own ideas. Look, if you want to put a worm coming out of your apple, fine. Go ahead. Put a slimy worm coming out of your apple. You guys think outside the box. You come up with your own ideas. Tomorrow when we create Earth Day, you want to put your world with sunglasses on it? Go for it. You don't have to do what I do. I love when you think outside the box. I love when you come up with your own ideas. Spend today creating Zentangles. I want to see those pictures. I want to see your designs. You can create a collage. You can do a whole page of Zentangles. And if you don't know how to do it, Google Zentangles. Google images zentangles you'll come up with a million ideas they're so fun they're relaxing they're very cool i will see you guys tomorrow for earth day start thinking again what you could do and i i'm just saying i don't recommend you go out to public and pick up trash we have two more people who are going to pop on real quick go ahead reagan and katie Bye. Bye. i know we're almost done but um i finished my fruit mostly that looks nice yeah i love Thank it you. Thank you. Um, I, I want to show you my first products. Yeah. So I, have these two. I Thank love you. It. Thanks for showing us. You oh, Ava. Um, I also wanted to say maybe we could do like sort of maybe how do I describe this? It would be sort of like you would put clean water on like Keep the water clean and then happy Earth Day. And then maybe like your ideas. I was thinking for tomorrow we would put all of the ideas into like one thing. Hmm. Like the sports thing with the yeah. you know, sports into one. Uh -huh. That's cool. Yeah. That's I was thinking that. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Someone keeps popping in and out, so I don't know if they know exactly what to do. And if you guys are still on there and you're messaging each other, if someone's confused about how to get in, because I, I can't really see the screen that well, but I could see someone popping in, popping out, popping in, popping out, popping in, popping out. So again, you have every day to come on. Tomorrow's Earth Day. Think of creative ideas that you can do for tomorrow. Think of things that you can do, you know, again, to take care of our world, to take care of each other. Give your mailman a nice piece of art. Hang something up on the wall. Anybody that has a birthday coming up, make a card for, make an artwork for. Think outside the box. Pay it forward. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I will see you. Oh, is she coming back on? All right. Come back on real quick, Joe. Or think outside um, the box. Pay it I forward. finished my Thank picture. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Oh, it looks great. Uh, Thank you. All right. Thank you. You guys, don't forget, send me pictures, okay? Because I can't send pictures, like I can't post pictures from the video. So message me, tag me, check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party, email me at artistatheart.org, all those different ways. Send me your stuff. I love it. That's how you thank me. You thank me by sending me your photos. I love when you guys send me photos with me on the screen and you watching the screen because that way I can put it on my website and people can see what I'm doing online. So thanks again for joining me. I will see you guys tomorrow, Wednesday for Earth Day. Bye.